Are you confident that CIOs and IT strategists fully understand what cloud computing is and what it can do for their business? No, I think there's still a lot of education to be done and I think that we saw traditional hosting and what's different today is the economic model is different, the development model is different, but CIOs are still very hesitant uh, to let that out of, their, out of their internal environment. So I think there's still a lot of education that needs to be done about the advantages of the cloud computing model. The greater benefit with cloud computing is faster time to deployment, lower risk, great ability, greater ability to iterate, lower cost of change over time, which you frankly just don't get with a traditional on-premise application. I'm interested in delivering benefits to the organization I work for. And um, the cloud is an opportunity. And for me, it's part of my sourcing strategy. So where can I get services from? I can do them in-house or I can buy them through the cloud. Um, the cloud allows me to buy them quicker, um, so faster and cheaper. Cloud computing is at the core of uh, the IT strategy at the WISE Group. It's all about getting rid of all the hassles associated with infrastructure and networks and allowing us to concentrate on the data. It's all about allowing me and the IT team to develop timely, accurate and relevant data uh, to inform business decisions. The cost advantage um, in higher education is, is compelling um, and um, so that's something we're investigating. Um, in the US 50% of higher education institutions have already moved their email, student email application to the cloud um, and it's increasing in other parts of the world. Um, UK we've started to adopt it but um, relatively slowly. I would imagine within five years time every single university in the world will be in the cloud. The WISE Group is a, is a large social enterprise, uh, which means it's not for profit, but it's run as a business. It's, uh, other examples would be the Eden Project or Ben and Jerry's. Um, and we basically get people into work, into sustainable employment. Um, recently we won a Department of Work and Pensions contract, which over the next five years will uh, we'll get 50,000 people into work. So the IT and the cloud is in support of um, the customer journey through, un through from unemployment to sustainable employment. We're a foundation based in the Netherlands, a not-for-profit foundation, and uh, what we do is we, we make it easier to share knowledge um, related to water and sanitation development. Um, and uh, if, getting to grips with that is a really great way to get p help people lift themselves out of poverty very quickly. We were a response really to say, well, how how can you open up and put all that knowledge online in a, in a shared way? It's evolved since then and um, we've actually been, we're actually developing our own cloud-based applications as well on top now, which make it easier to fund very large numbers of small-scale water projects. And that's, that's a gap that, that, that nobody really is very good at at the moment. People only want to fund big, you know, multi-million, even multi-tens of millions, hundreds of millions size projects and um, we make it easy to do very large numbers of them and I think I don't th I think without cloud computing we couldn't even have a go at that. Cloud computing uh, allows us to be far more agile and responsive to the customer's requirements um, we are dealing with individuals lives uh, and we do uh, make bespoke uh, training and support packages for people to get them into a sustainable job. So cloud computing allows us to develop those very quickly. It allows us to roll them out extremely quickly because the applications that support the customer journey uh, are web-based uh, and therefore become available to anyone with credentials even in remote offices, the instant that they're activated, we don't have to bother with infrastructure to support that. So it's absolutely critical to designing a bespoke customer journey for each client that we can be agile, and it's the only thing that allows us to do that. In the summer of 2007, um, it was a very wet summer, um, Gloucestershire in particular was hit very badly by the, uh, by the rain, um, and we weren't really expecting bad floods by any means but unfortunately we were hit very badly. Our business continuity plan actually allowed for us to move to other sites of Gloucester, Gloucestershire and within, within the county. Um, however the floods got so bad that it looked as if 300,000 homes were going to lose their electricity and also the same number lost water. 
So it meant that we had to evacuate from Gloucestershire so that we could keep all of our customer facing operations running. Um, it meant that I had to move half of my staff down to Chippenham in Wiltshire and, uh, and the other half up to Worcester. Um, no mean feat by any means, but um, we had no telephony, and, but we did have the Right Now solution, which allowed me to be able to work my staff without any changes in, in their operation, uh, and they were able to speak to our customers, answer questions, and actually I could um, use staff that didn't normally work on specific services to answer questions, and there was no actual um, change in the way that the citizen or in the citizen experience because they were able to answer phones and, and answer questions very, very quickly. But also, because of the, um, the type of system it is, we were able to update it from where we were or anywhere where we were in the county. I actually had somebody in the Forest of Dean that was updating things for me um, and she was working from home. We, I mean, we're able to price our system at about five euros per project per month to host um, host a host a development project in, and that's the charge to an NGO partner. And you know that kind of cost is uh, that side of sort of pricing. It means that they can they can try it and they can scale up if they like it. And um, I think another aspect that's really key is that our that the cloud makes it easier for large numbers of organisations to interoperate mm. where they maybe hadn't thought of that before. And um, one of the things that's very common in the non-government sector, uh, NGO sector, is that you will often have groups of partners that are funded to work together, but actually they don't really have any established systems to do just really straightforward stuff. You know, every project, what's the feed from that project? So that you know, the Tanzanian school's toilet project in a particular village how do we develop project updates on that and share them with every partner so that all those partners can feature them on their online, on their own websites, but also for use for their teams. And that sort of stuff just wasn't possible to organise on the fly before, but it is now. I'm not an IT person at all. I have no idea about it. Um, I just want software that does um, deliver good business solutions and make a difference to HR because we shouldn't be behind the desk doing admin we should be out talking to the people and managing talent, managing the performance and bringing better business results whereas at the moment because we, we're not um, hugely IT based and we don't have a lot of software yet, um, we're finding a lot that we're behind the desk doing admin which isn't a good use of money really. I'm interested in some cloud software mainly because um, I think it's good to understand this from a security aspect how good and, and how if the information is on there because some people are afraid to put information on an online uh, platform and, and not sure where that comes from and where it goes to and from a data protection point of view what happens with it. So it's really good to listen to other people who've used that um, and understand their sense of security with it and they feel it's safe, that's good and that's important particularly from an HR perspective if you're dealing with sensitive information that it's really secure as well um, and just to see what other uh, software companies are out there and, and how they utilise that and what business benefits it can bring for us. The advantages I believe in, in terms of my own experience are that it's very, very easy to deploy and implement because it's all sort of based online. Your um, needs from an IT function are minimised completely and particularly if they've got a lot on their plate, that's a huge advantage. It also means that for people like me who know very little about IT, it's actually quite easy to use in my experience from what we've looked at. Um, I think it is safe and secure and most importantly it's cost effective um, and in total it drives business transformation if it's the right software I think and that's huge and that's what you really want from your business is to transform it and make it the best that is in the market as well.